Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom on this day where I'm attempting to catch up as always. I always feel as if I'm catching up, but this is Lucifer season three, episode four, WWLD. What would Lucifer do? It could be anything, but we just had a Mazikeen centric episode, which I loved. I was gonna add more, but no, I really enjoyed watching her grow and evolve as a character, starting to get in touch more with her humanity, her soul. It was beautiful. And she found that she has a family. She has a found family. She's not adrift in this world or in the underworld. And I love that. So I think we are ready to jump right into the next episode. <laughs> no cozy, comfy blanket. Oh no, this is the app exact opposite of the basement. This room, it is currently 82 degrees in this room Fahrenheit. It has been 80 all day long. No kidding in this room. So you're going to hear a hum in the background. I will do my best to minimize it, but I have to have a fan on. I've got a window cracked this much because that's as much as the window opens. So you're going to hear sounds around me. We're just going to deal with it because I'm not going to have some sort of ventilation <laughs> in this hot box. But I also have some Moscow. Nope, nope. This is an Irish mule going. I have my water and I have some lemonade. I have all my liquids. Let me know what you're drinking. I would love to know. Also, let me know. What are you thinking of this background? I'm filming at night, so it is dark. If I filmed earlier in the day, it'd be a little bit lighter, but just let me know. Just let me know what you think. I'm still tweaking. You're going to remember also full episode watch long is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. And now uh, let's get to it. <laughs> so he is officially over Chloe now, deepest, right? Fantasy. Right. Let's have sex in the ball pit at a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> During oh, what I was opening I business hours? Right, well, I'd rather eat a plate of warm mayonnaise and visit that child laden cesspool. Oh, she's at, he's at his, at her house. Quick, hide. Relax. <gasps> Relax. Oh, we're gonna make this a party. I handle this. He's gonna make this a party. Maybe, possibly. Oh, and it's daytime. I'm not a thief. Your valuables are untouched. Unless, of course, you consider your wife a valuable. In that case, I've touched her several times. <laughs> Twice this morning. Who the hell do you think you are? Lucifer Morningstar. Lucifer Morningstar, your <laughs> honor, my apologies. In my defense, uh, when we came in last night, I was blindfolded by your wife's underwear, so. <laughs> It was the underwear that made that sentence so awesome. Is kicking my ass what you truly desire? I want a friggin' nap. <laughs> I married the yoga instructor. I feel him. All of that. Sex, partying, Coachella. Oh, that's not who I am. In all honesty, I just... I just want to chill with my ex, Marsha. <gasps> she engaged my mind. Oh, then why is she an ex? But that wasn't until I realized that the best way to remind myself of the devil I am today is to fully embrace the devil I used to be. Are you saying I should call my ex? Absolutely. Will your ex have you? Uh, deal. Now I've done you a favor, you owe me one. Oh. Well, whatever you want. Lovely. Lovely indeed. In an effort to strengthen my own professional identity within the department, I'd like to take on some added responsibility. I'd like to be put up for the open union rep position. Oh. Request denied. Can I ask why? See, one of the few benefits of having the L and the T in front of my name is I don't have to explain myself. Hmm, maybe just a smidge. Oh. What was that about? You could tell just by watching? Oh my god, yeah. He is so into you. You're joking. Uh, no. Scorching fire, five, alarm. <laughs> Look. 
Lucifer. Where have you been? Saving a marriage. <clears throat> Listen, I've been waiting here to tell you that I finally figured out what my task is from father to get my powers back. It's you, brother. So how is, how is, how is Aminadale gonna interpret this? Slightly more interesting. How am I your task? Yes, please. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe that means I'm supposed to learn from you. Well, if you really need oh. to understand me, brother, oh. then you must first walk oh. a mile in my Italian loafers. Walk a mile in your shoes. Hmm? Is Aminadale gonna get a makeover? Uh, first off, uh, a makeover. Makeover! Clothes, shoes. Here's an idea. Try smiling. Right, we can work on that. <laughs> Through there, my closet, I grant you entree to all things me, and give me a phone. Wait, they have two different shoulder torso widths. you have widths. access to all my social media accounts. Instagram, Snapchat, Grinder. Go. Grinder. But what should I do first? <gasps> Grinder. <laughs> Get laid. Play the piano. Punish evil. <laughs> Whenever you're faced with a choice, ask yourself the question, WWLD. What would Lucifer do? Oh, pumpkins. Oh, yes, yeah, right. There was a case. <laughs> Forgot about that part. Oh, poor girl. Poor girl. I don't know who she is, but I just, oh. Firehawk Ranch Transformational Center. Oh no. Yeah, it's a high end reform program for juvenile drug offenders and addicts. Oh. Oh. The word transform, transform, whatever scared me for half a second. So, this uh, so called reform program claims to transform bad kids into good ones. Only reform program I ever knew was my abuelita's boot. <laughs> or my mom's wooden spoon. There is a story about me being like, three three years old got spanked with the spoon and i took it and i broke it it's like you'll never hit me with this again that's what i've been told no way one of my kids did this this is a place of transformation uh no this is a scam people can't be <gasps> changed trust me i know as a former addict and ex-con i'm leaving proof that people can change they just found this tool belt in the victim's office pruning saw is gone it's our missing murder weapon. Whose tool belt is that? One of the residents. Only they received them. Oh, well. Wait, only a resident would receive a full-on tool belt? What is that? The badge? Uh, those are Collins Firehawk wings. Highest honor here. Wings as an honor? <gasps> is this a joke? No. But they're not angel wings. They're like bird wings. Wings are only given to those who have truly reformed. You could tail the free will of these rebellious souls by making them follow your rules, and then you trick them into thinking they've changed by giving them wings. The most vile manipulation and completely unoriginal. Wow. Wow, Lucifer, you are, oh, jumping, jumping, jumping. Where can we find Tyson? It's gone, <laughs> apparently. Hey. <gasps> Oh, they tailored the suit for this man. They tailored the suit for this man. This is not off of Lucifer's rack. Chocolate. 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 What is it you desire? <gasps> for you to move so I can talk to my boyfriend. Oh, oh, it was a good try. It was a good try. It was a good try. Maybe, maybe you should just brood and let them come to you. Guess what? What? You get to have sex with me. <sighs> is Maze there? Please tell me Maze is there. Hi. Chocolate. <laughs> hey, Decker. How's it going with the Firehawk case? Uh, we're working on it right now. Although we've identified the suspect, Tyson Chase, he's a resident. There's a bolo out. Bolo! Bolo, I don't have it shot with me. Bolo. Ella, no. No. Why is Pierce such a dick to me? 
Maybe you're not the problem. <gasps> Did he spike both of them? Like someone could use a single malt cappuccino. Oh, yes, sir. Single malt latte? I'd prefer if you helped us find Tyson Chase. I forget how much you've come to rely on me these days. Allow me to consult. Mm hmm <laughs> Sin was in the past. He's back at it. We don't know his crimes. His record is sealed. Tyson's a minor. Well, I'll call a judge, get it unsealed. It may take a few days. A judge. I may have a way to cut a few corners. Mm-hmm. Ah, hello, judgey. And this must they... be Marcia. At his house? Your turn to pick from the pile, I think. And she took him back. Marcia took him back. Wow, you, you found him really well. Hey, I mean, not Vin Diesel quick, but impressive nonetheless. Go, Tober. <laughs> I have not seen any of the Fast and Furious like movies at cars, all. To pay for your drugs. Vintage must be fast, <gasps> to be precise. And you've been arrested here twice. Because I need to prove to that charlatan at Firehawk Ranch that you are, and always will be, a criminal. Whatever, man. Well, you're kind of proving him right right now. I'd rather die than go back. Well, that could be a that's, that's a little extreme. <laughs> 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 it's a nice car, though. Why well, is a nice car? A little obvious, but it's a nice car. Smells like you might need a change of underpants first, Tyson. <laughs> we found your tool belt in Emily Goddard's office, minus the pruning saw that you used to kill her. Does she does she know Emily's dead? He didn't know she was dead. Look, I loved Emily. <gasps> and she said no. Because she wouldn't talk to me. I just wanted to talk. About what? I turned 18 and didn't have to stay at the ranch anymore. Oh. I, I wanted her to come with me. 18, 20. He was a minor. This, this was done out of good thing. Mm-hmm. Oh no, she rejected you. So you, Lucifer, quit being a punk ass. If I hadn't left, Emily would still be alive. Because I could have protected her from. Oh, she was worried about expelling a resident. You have to believe me. Filthy lie. I believe him. <laughs> Something you'd like to add here, Espinoza? Sorry, I just, I need to go. I help a friend who's in trouble. Don't let your day job Ooh. keep you. It's very Undan-like. And without a murder weapon, we don't have enough evidence to keep him. Hello, Tyson. Oh, Jesus. What do you desire, Tyson? Just say it. Just say it. I take full responsibility for his actions. This won't happen again. Why not? The kid turns out not to be the murderer. Your friend just scared him straight. <laughs> well done, Lucifer. Way to be a good influence. How dare you say that? <laughs> Just say what you're done now. <laughs> Want the wings to come out now? Poof. Pop, poof. I said they a good influence. One in the back. So you can show up in jeans and a t shirt, ready to work. Good morning. Good nope. morning. Right, gather around, children. Gather around. I would like to see my jeans and t shirt, ready to work. Who's the suit? Lucifer Morningstar, your substitute counselor and resident bird <laughs> They're just gonna just let him walk on. Okay, okay. <gasps> Please let him reform all these children in one fell swoop. What is it you all desire? Get rich. Instagram models. Mm -hmm. With video games. My father's love. Yeah, get oh. rich. money. I just want to get high, man. I hear you. I hear you. I... <laughs> I mean, yes, micronutrients in the soil are in <laughs> is vertical integration. And it all starts with solid distribution. Right, now. Uh, well, I do happen to know some wonderful CEOs down in Sinaloa. Successful marketing. Arrange some internships. Strategy. Oh, jeez. The only things you need to be your own CEO is irrigation and a south-facing slope. Is that what they're gonna? Oh. Here's your drag empire, Teach. She's been growing at the ranch. It appears someone's gunning for extra credit. So has this been a front? <gasps> Where are the real counselors and the administrators of this camp? Don't feel it. 
feels good he's coming in on horseback the breath and I'm up and <laughs> he's coming in don't get high on, on your own horseback. supply don't, don't get high on your own supply. supply snitches end up in ditches and snitches end up in ditches now i always heard it snitches end up with stitches but i guess it's different different parts of the world how did you get that horse what horse oh. bye ah they should award him his wings then he'd look like pegasus where is the camp director what brings you here find the kid that emily was about to expel in her files it said that she had recently who just happened this 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 discussion in front of all these kids. So this is all yours. Not saying a word without my lawyer. <laughs> Sorry, I talked to that. But I have to say, Detective, this young lady really is going places. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jail. All the way to jail. Yo, buddy. What the hell <gasps> happened, man? What? <gasps> Was he? Oh. Listen, we are just performing Prostitution? Act of love. Was he? And then she oh, demanded money. performing the act of love. And then her cousin showed up, who shared very little familial resemblance, by the way. And then he also demanded money. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And then her cousin, well, he wouldn't listen to reason. You mean her pimp? Do you know what a pimp is? I'm in a deal. How are we doing on the investigation? Well, this investigation has a smoked out Carly glance. Still no murder weapon? And no evidence tying her to the scene. Lucifer, any thoughts? He has all the thoughts. <laughs> no? Reach for the unexpected and allow yourself to be surprised. Like crisps and chocolate. The results can be quite pleasing. That looks like Nutella, though. That's not just chocolate. Throw out the manual. Think outside the box. Yes, Lieutenant. What? <laughs> Because Carly isn't gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. <gasps> Allow yourself to be surprised indeed. The night of the murder, I saw Tyson Chase digging by the sundial. Geez, do I have to do all your work for you? Carly, tone. <laughs> Should I roll over and fetch too, Dad? <gasps> oh. Carly has an ironclad alibi. Who is? During the murder, she was in the shared room. On the computer video chatting with her boyfriend. Instead of harassing my daughter any further, I suggest she go see what's under that sundial. But she was still growing drugs on a ranch. But aren't you a bit far from the sundial? I've got it. Thanks. Why don't they dig up where it looks most freshly dug up? Speaking of, I was at work, day job, and I was walking past the grass and I was noticing gopher holes. And I walked past one, and the top of the dirt went. I've never seen that before. Go for holes, yes. A moving one, no. You're talking about the new lieutenant. I like him. Very good judgment. Totally agree. Spot on. What? Ella, we've seen you not have the best judgment. You guys in there? Ooh, the murder weapon! What did I tell you? Once a bad guy, always a bad guy. I'm reserving judgment. Then if, per Lucifer, people really don't reform, that would also apply to Carly Glantz. So then how the hell did the worst kid in the program, on the verge of expulsion, earn highly coveted computer privileges to video chat with her boyfriend? What? Mm. Sexual favors? Talk to Jerry Black Crow, ask him some more questions. Something doesn't add up. Uh huh. Lucifer, are you coming? Oh, I can't, sorry. Duty calls. Which one? Lexi, if you must know. A judge's soon to be ex wife. It's a long story. Oh. They're back at the scene of the crime. The problem is, I don't know what it is. And he didn't tell you? But he's a bit, uh, Enigmatic, my dad. When's Dan gonna find out about them? Somebody needs to find out about them sooner rather than later. Bro, what's it to understand? The guy does what he wants, he says what he wants, he gets away with it. He parties constantly, he apparently has an endless supply of cash, drives a sick ass ride, and gets to have sex with a different hot girl every night. What a terrible, lonely existence. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds awful. <laughs> 
We all need someone to have our backs every now and then. You're right, we do. So who, who, who did, for the millennia prior to this, who did Amenadiel like hang out with and had friends with or buddy buddy? Was he just working all the time? Are they born as babies and grow into adults or are they just, psh, man. You've only been breathing down my neck this entire case. You chose to ride along just so you could check up on me. Oh, and you shot down my request to be union rep without even considering it. <laughs> that job is for has-beens. And the only reason I came here was so I could finally see you in action firsthand. You think that I'm one of your best detectives? Decker, gun! Oh, jeez! Oh, and he took it straight on. Did he have a vest with him? Did he have a vest on him? He came out, guns are blazing. <clears throat> Did he have an exit strategy? Shoot at the police and, and think that's just going to be it? Is that a standard procedure to disable the person's car somehow? At least put a block under the tires. Start with me. You're the 1 officer down. Officer down. Was he full and shot? No vest? No vest? Wait. I know. I know. I should just be patient. Jerry Black Crow tried to kill you. I don't believe it. Wait, what am I saying? Didn't he say he was an ex-con himself? More proof there's no such thing as transformation. Yeah, can we talk about this later? I gotta get to the hospital. I... Yeah. You have been digging around, Lucifer. Chloe's fine. Luckily, Pierce was with her. And I wasn't. Mm-hmm. I want you to check all local ATM cameras. If Black Crow is fleeing, he's gonna need cash. Unless he's got a stash somewhere. And Lucifer knows exactly where that stash would be. I missed something where this would be the the obvious place to go. This is where the Firehawk path leads. A soggy stash of coke-dusted 20s and a boat ride to Mexico. And my prized pupil mentioned using her dad's beach condo as a stash house. Oh. Oh. So I was right about people not changing, just wrong about who. I warned Emily, but she wouldn't listen to reason. I'm not going back to jail. <gasps> You shot at the detective. That was an odd, odd camera angle. Lucifer, how far are you going to take this? You're going to kill him. And how did a find him? Once evil, always evil, right? No, Lucy, you're not evil. Yeah, you're not evil. You're the devil. You punish evil. Your words. Oh, yeah. Did she forget that? He forgot that. He took full-on gunshot to the gut? So, have you ever been injured on the job before? I've had a few scrapes. Yeah. You can't share you know gunshot stories because she's I been a few times. I was completely freaked out. I should get back and uh, finish up Black Crow's arrest sheet. He turned up uh, half-beaten, hogtied in Malibu. Karma, I guess. She doesn't question that at all. <laughs> Is that a crime she's gonna, who beat up and hogtied this man? I can see why Lucifer is so affected by you. It's because you're special, Decker. Hmm, how? And is that why he's nasty to Dan? I also wanted to thank you for putting me up for the union rep position. Sorry, Chloe, and I wanted that one too. You earned it, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Oh! How did you find me, by the way? Okay, yes, please. On one of your dating apps. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe father wanted me there. Just took you walking a mile in my shoes to prove my point to me that I haven't changed. 
Hmm. I'm exactly who I always was. A punisher. God, what's he gonna do with this knowledge? Well, you were trying to punish today. Well, who else would I be trying to punish? Yourself, Lucy. For not being there for Chloe when she was in danger because you care about her deeply. Because I finally figured out how you are my test. You see, Father wants me to just, to just be there for you. To have your back. Now that you're evolving. Oh. Why is he so afraid to evolve? Like, isn't that why he came to Earth? Was to evolve? There was this uh, soul that I used to torture back in hell. Until one day, for some reason, he missed his daily punishment. And when I returned, it was then that I realized he was so full of self-loathing. No matter the depth of my cruelty, gave meaning to his pointless existence. Because he reminded me of you. Mm. With no better way to spend your days than yipping at my heels for scraps to remind you of a time mm. of when you once mattered. Luzavar. That's just cruel. That's beyond cruel. I know what you're doing. Lashing out? Because you're afraid? And you can kill the messenger if you must. Or just know that I am here for you. Where's Dr. Linda? We need Dr. Linda's input on this. with open eyes, but I so are we at now two seasons like one two 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 to three a lot of the show a lot of the show is lucifer kind of rejecting his transformation from his identity to his essence. I don't know if you've ever read a Michael Haig. Oh, was I kicked the camera? A Michael Haig uh, screenwriting book. But he always talks about going from your identity to your essence. And so a lot of this is Lucifer finding his essence. And he rejects it so many times. Although he purposely puts himself in spots where his questioning who he was and what he did and what he values is always going to happen. Which is fine, but now we're into season three. I would like to see him move on from that constant, immediate rejection. I guess that's one of his character traits. But again, he's supposed to evolve. Whether he wants to or not, I would like to see a little more of that. So Dan, Dan. I never felt love for Dan. However, I feel as if the show is being purposefully shitty to him. Maybe they've, oh, it's always been shitty to Dan, but man, it just seems like it's even more just sad. Like, it's just, it's just sad. <laughs> Why is it so sad? And what is the lieutenant's game? What is he after? I wonder, I wonder if he is something other than human. Which is why he's pushing Chloe's buttons and Lucifer's buttons. Hmm. So where do we go from here? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. But I'm excited to go. I'm But I'm excited to find out. And I'm so glad you are all here on this journey with me. You all is what makes it so much fun. So you're going to, before the next episode, drink. Uh, drink. You're going to drink. You're going to drink so much. Drink your water stretch your bodies you're going to remember to breathe my my <laughs> is starting to wind down so i'm hoping to get back into a routine again so i hope you have your positive routine we'll do it together and um yeah so keep take care of yourselves and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time